The Western Cape Premier will today face a motion of no confidence in the province. The DA in the Western Cape Legislature says it has full confidence in Premier Helen Zilla's leadership. The ANC in the province has called on the debate. This as the former DA leader faced disciplinary charges within her own party for posting a controversial tweet about colonialism. She later apologized for the tweet. The ANC holds 14 seats in the 42-seat legislature. It will be interesting as the ANC has mooted an application uh, for a secret ballot during today's debate. And joining us on the phone line uh, for further information on this is ANC Western Cape Chief Whip, Pierre Ace. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on Morning Prime. Firstly, uh, what brought about this motion of no confidence and how confident are you? Yes, uh, it's very important that we put this motion of no confidence uh, in the premier of the DA, Helen Zilla. She's not serving uh, the Western Cape and the people of, of the Western Cape and believe she's a non-caring uh, premier and an absent premier as well. A premier that, uh, that just uh, a couple of months ago, where her own party decided that she can't participate in any decision-making structure of her own party. Now, I mean, that's a big uh, motion of no confidence in her from her own political party. And we experience that every single day here. No caring for the poor. We see housing shortages in a big time, evictions taking place, and a climate that's been created here for racism and crime to really thrive in the Western Cape. We had a major problem, and it's still existing in Alba, in the Zamu Yetu area. Premier was out of the province promoting a book that she wrote, but she's not here with the community, serving the community and serving the needs of the people uh, of the Western Cape. And therefore, it's very important that we put this motion of no confidence. Of course, some of the people that she appointed in the Western Cape will vote for her, and that's why they say there's uh, full support. But it's very clear that there's no support for her, uh, broader than a couple of people of the DA in uh, the Western Cape itself, and we're going to put our motion uh, very strong. Irrespective of the numbers that we get uh, within the legislature, of course, the DA has been clearly told that they must toe the line. Otherwise, of course, they will lose their positions in the, uh, the legislature. But we will use the platform to speak to the people of uh, the Western Cape and really inform them of what's happening, apart from the propaganda that we see on a daily basis going out from the DA. Now, uh, you call this almost an escalation of dissatisfaction in the Premier. How would you wish uh, to see the public perception of this? Oh, well, uh, we need the public to clearly understand this. Because uh, every time uh, we see this very, uh, uh, just propaganda coming from the DA side, almost like trying to say they're the best province. But when you really go to the ground and see what's happening to the people uh, in the Western Cape, yes, you really see two societies, two communities, uh, two groups of people in the Western Cape. The one is the very affluent and the rich that's been cared for and the very poor that, that's really living in terrible conditions. And that's the position that we really have to point out on a daily basis. We've just seen it with a housing issue in Tafelberg here, now so-called uh, uh, land that's going to be made available, but it's not really catering for the poorest of the poor of the Western Cape. And people need to understand that, and the message must come clear to the people of the Western Cape that we can't continue like this. Now, can you confirm whether this will be done in a secret ballot? As I understand, the ANC has applied for it to be done by secret ballot. No, that's wrong. The ANC did not apply for a secret ballot. And, of course, the DA did not say it's going to be a secret ballot. The DA is the majority here. It's just uh, very interesting that they didn't come up with a, a secret ballot when it's uh, Helen Zilla. But the ANC did not ask for a secret ballot. We will uh, do it uh, as the Speaker decides, and uh, I'm sure it will be in, in an open uh, uh, vote. And uh, that's not the issue to us. The issue is really that the message gets out to the people of the Western Cape. Thank you for that uh, clarification. Lastly, before I let you go, how's the ANC gearing up for the motion of no confidence in the president coming up very soon? Well, what we have here and our focus on the provincial legislature is the focus on Helen Zilla and not performing her functions, even sitting with a no motion of no confidence from her own party uh, in a, a member not in good standing. Because if you can't participate in even a decision-making structure of your own party, I mean, how can that member be in good standing? And that's what they dumped on the Western Cape. Mr. Pierre Ace, thank you so much for your time here on Morning Prime. We really do appreciate it. Uh, that was the ANC Western Cape Chief Whip, Pierre Ace, talking to us about the fact that the Western Cape Premier will today face a motion of no confidence in the province.